Welcome back to the Charismatic Voice and to My Choice Tuesday. Today we're going to be looking at a band that I have heard before, but I've never heard them feature this lead singer. We're going to be listening to Postmodern Jukebox featuring Haley Reinhardt, and she's going to be singing Creep, originally by Radiohead. I love Radiohead, and I've been listening to them since I was a teenager. Just adore them. So it's going to be particularly awesome, I think, to see how Postmodern Jukebox puts a spin on this song. I would never think that you can make this song, like, jazzy, or I feel like, like swing dancing, but Postmodern Jukebox does just that. They like to surprise people with really imaginative covers. So I'm really excited to see what they do with Creep, and I'm really excited to hear Haley for the first time. Let's get to it. When you were here before, you couldn't look you in the eye. You're just like an angel. Your skin makes me cry. You float like a feather in a beautiful I wish I was special You're so very special her voice. Like she has one of the most instantly lovable voices that I have ever heard. It is, it sounds almost like she speaks singing. It, her, her technique is definitely related to how she speaks. There's nothing manipulative in her voice at all. It's just a very natural sound. But I loved it when she got to this chorus too and had this really long extended note on Creep. I think they even extended that extra long um, from the original version. And then when she added a little bit of grit to it, I was like, oh my goodness, this is, this is a really amazing voice. And I love the way that she's styling with her hands and everything too. It's just, um, I'm going to go back to the beginning and watch this again. <laughs> okay, here we go. When you were here before, you couldn't look you in the eye. You're just like an angel. Your skin makes me cry. You float like a feather. Oh, wow, she's so amazing. Oh, okay. Who? Who hold it in? Uh, this voice is exciting me so much right now. The way that she has this like little fast vibrato at the very end, it's very, uh, I love it like as a style choice that I hear in jazz a lot too. Um, and she does like, these really quick slides, no vibrato, just like on air, which is lovely. Also, the it looks like she's had some training, I think, in swing dance or um some sort of solo jazz dance probably because of the way she is styling her hands. It is very, uh, it seems very authentic to me and I've done a lot of swing dancing. So I, I wonder where, where she picked up those ideas for styling her hands too. <sighs> okay, keep going. And I'm beautiful. Oh, that's fine. I wish I was special. You're so very special. that she's like leaning into like more ugly sounds to express that ugly feeling. And I also love the way that she sometimes uses um, like the way that she comes off 
of singing to express more. So you hear right back, uh, let's go back just a little bit. That, the way she goes Ugh, at the end, it gives even more expression and it's not even technically singing. It's Wow, she's using her voice in so many fabulous ways. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna let it go for a while, I promise. Expressing her voice in a little, uh, I mean, yes, it's very sexy. Like she has like little phrases that she says that they're intentionally sexy phrases. And, uh, and of course the way that she's moving too. Um, but I love that it's like very pinup girl. And then she gets to creep and she just lets out this inner thought. It, it really makes me think back to like housewives and, and, um, and that era of like, honey, here's your dinner sort of thing. And it feels like she's expressing what a person who was in that situation and, and didn't want to be in it might have felt. I feel like she's saying, uh, it's crazy. I feel like she's saying a lot about women empowerment with this, which is, it's fascinating. I love that there is this twist to it. Ah, so much good. Um, her message is intriguing me like crazy. Let's go back a little bit. But I'm a fantastic um she's like wailing this is exactly my description of wailing when you hear a blues singer just like tear it up full out belting at this point uh i love the way she's pushing into the breaks of her voice so she has like little cries off of it every now and then it feels so uh like it's coming from the center of her soul ah uh, so much good about this let's go back just a little bit so i can train this part together Wow, there's a lot more of the song to go. Where else is she gonna go with this? Well, she's crazy and then she went up high came back down oh at the end um she's using so many different places uh within her vocal tract to make these sounds i one of the things i love about jazz and scatting is when the like switch to a different part um like an area to create some sounds they don't necessarily always go by pure vowels they'll instead make sounds that are are more guttural sometimes though not guttural like throat singing like more like Yum, and use different, um, play with different consonants and singing through those in different ways too. It's really cool. Like at the end here, the whoa, 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 
she just like tossed it off. Even at one point earlier, she did like started to go down like a little scale, but then stopped at midway as if it was just this like quick idea that suddenly fell out. It feels so natural and authentic, but I also think that a lot of it was really planned. Oh, it's fantastic. Wow. I'm going to be listening to this song a ton. Now we need to catch that whole run one more time. Like how many different ways has she been expressive so far? Loved the little scat section. That was great. Her, the various syllables she chose are really fun. Um, and then I love the way that this arrangement has pulled back at this point. And it's so fun to hear her go from wailing to this incredibly tender moment and have that control there. And then be able to riff with this just like more delicate part of the voice. Some people they'll really be able to riff when they're like much, much uh, singing, much more powerful music. And some people only will be able to do it when they're singing really quietly. It's good to be able to do both. And she's excellent, excellent at both. Um, she even, oh, uh, I was looking at uh, watching how she supports her sound earlier. She uses her whole body. You can see her really um, going into her diaphragm and like using her whole support very, very well. And she even moves with her sound. It looks like she's very, very much connected to her vocal mechanism. Okay, back a little bit. Yodel there, even. Oof. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong. I'm a to go back and catch that again. I just couldn't stop it. I love the way that she chooses to go in and out of this growl. It's incredible, incredible, incredible. She's so clearly in control of it. She's able to add it or take it away and have a clean sound, which is fantastic. And I also love the way you hear her go through entire like mouth shapes to just, uh, it's like this expression that isn't even a word. It's just a mouth shape instead. We'll go back and try and catch a couple of those again. It's, she's incredible. Wow. I still love that yodel part. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so that part right there is a great way to look at what she's doing with her mouth. She's making all of these sounds to be expressive that aren't even words. I love it. It's like even more than scatting. That right there, listen to that. I have a new vocal crush. This woman, Haley. Haley. Wow. She's amazing. I, she's able to make so many cool sounds. I love the way that she's using like every single crevice in her vocal tract to be expressive. I adore that. Of course I adore this arrangement. Like I, I was fairly sure that they'd be able to take creep and make it cool and vintagey. But I was very, I love the key changes in it. I also love that bump that they had. Uh, and they have like little um, in-betweens with the instruments that made it feel very much like a big band. But the real revelation was Haley. Wow, that woman can wail. And wow, she kept that going the whole song too. I would expect a lot of people to get very tired after that kind of wailing, but she just kept on going, was able to pull it back at one point and then give it again. She is a vocal hero. Whoa. Uh, thank you so much for those of you that did suggest this. And thanks for allowing me to have my Choice Tuesday to get to discover things like this. Whew, I need to hear so much more of her. So please make uh, suggestions down below in the comments. And also uh, do come and join me on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays at eight o'clock Pacific time. No, Arizona time. I lied. Uh, Arizona time. I'm here in chat on YouTube when we premiere these videos at eight o'clock Arizona time. I hope to see you there and come and join me in Patreon sometime if you want to get to know me better or make really cool suggestions like this so that I can check them out on my choice Tuesdays. I hope to see you all somewhere soon. Bye. Thank you.